of Penang is known as Malaysia's food paradise city. So you know we couldn't leave Penang without giving you the best foods to eat in Penang. We wouldn't have been able to discover this food or know about the neighborhood if it wasn't for our awesome Airbnb host, Eric. You have my word, it's going to be worth it. All right. All right. What's going on everybody? We're at McAllister Lane in downtown Penang and guess what? We're gonna be trying famous Penang breakfast foods. And you know what? All these breakfast foods are made with a very specific type of Penang rice noodle. We're gonna be eating chi chan fun, wei tiao tung, and char kway kak. It's gonna be delicious. And as they say in Malaysia, Gia! With a cup of either white Penang coffee or black Penang coffee, you can't go wrong. Haha, <laughs> you don't wanna see me before I've had my cup of joe. Chi chan fun. All right, you guys, I'm having chi chan fun right here, and I've had actually the American version, or you could say the Hong Kong version, but visually, you still have the hoisin sauce, and you have some red chili sauce. This is their own Penang Malaysian chili sauce, so I'm ready to try this. Yo, very, very good. Really sweet, it all comes together really nicely. Uh, the noodles are cooked really good. Yo, Rich, how does it taste different, though? It's a little bit sweeter. There are many different things in here that you would not find in the American version. These little livers, this liver is still processing toxins. <laughs> From right last night's club <laughs> event. <laughs> I'm going in. Go it. Do it. Oh my goodness. If you like chilled out noodles, you gonna love this. <laughs> char kway kak. Right here, we got like a different version of a very popular dish, char kway tiao, but this is char kway kak. Kak means that the noodles are in cubes. Thick rice noodle cubes. Ooh, okay. Oh, man. Mm. Oh. With a different QB texture here, it definitely is different. Rojak. Yo, Andrew, what's Rojak? It's a mixed fruit with the fermented sweet prawn sauce with crushed peanuts on top. And Richie, why is Rojak significant? Because some people say Rojak is symbolic of Malaysia, a mix of all different cultures all brought together. Rojak. Mm. Assam, Assam laksa. A lot of people think that laksa is only curry laksa, but that's not true. There are two major types of laksa, Assam laksa and curry laksa. Penang is famous for Assam laksa. That means that the soup is gonna have a real fishy, sour taste. But there's also pieces of fish in this as well. So you get a little bit of meat. Ooh, is that a piece of pineapple? A little bit of pineapple under the laksa. Yo, I finished my bowl, you guys good? <laughs> and you gotta follow it up with dessert, maybe chendol? We're getting chendol. Yo, I heard this dessert is crazy. Look how fast they're making them. <laughs> Ooh. Yo, that's good. After milk from corn pops. Do you taste it? Penang pops. Ice, ice kachan. What flavor is it? Every Asian country kinda has their own ice cream dessert, but the big thing about here is the fruits are way more tropical. Still gotta add the corn. Oh. All right, guys, so it would not be a trip to Malaysia without some durian. A lot of people think there's only one type of durian, but guess what? We've got five. Ooh. First one, which is SO. Next up, we have bread prong. Next, we got ju jiao, which means bamboo leg. Next one, we got D24. And last but not least, in fact, it's the most, is Musun King. Ooh. They said that the flavor on this one is so intense that you have to have this last. If you eat it first, it'll ruin the flavor of the rest of them. Richie, I know you love durian. Can you do the honors of taking the first bite? Sure. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yo. Oh. Whoa. Every time I want to say something, it just interrupts me. It's like you cracked open Pandora's box. We came to a consensus. It's a uh, toasty and beanie. This is the red prawn. Is it good? All right. I got a Yo, little. That's just real solid and creamy. That's almost more like a melon. Mm. Chu chow. This is the uh, bamboo leg. Your piece. Man, I thought I liked durian. A little too funky for me with not enough payoff. If you're gonna bring the funk durian, I need the payoff. This is my favorite named one, D24. No, that one's far funkier, right? All right, not my favorite. Wu Sun King. I have a good feeling about this one. Three, Wu Sun King. Two, one. The Mu Sun King remains champion. If being a Penang has taught us one thing, it's stop, stop worrying, worrying, eat some durian. durian. Authentic Penang Char Kway Tiao. We heard that this is from the best stall in all of Gurney Drive. Mmm, that's good. That's good. No, the wok hay, the heat that it has, the spiciness. You get just yeah. enough noodles, you get just enough meat, you get just enough egg. I've had Char Kway Tiao in so many different places. This is the best one I've ever had right here in Penang, Malaysia. One ton meat. So this is basically a dry one ton noodle, but Penang style, so you see a lot more spicy, just real kicking it up a notch. This tastes very homemade. Hey, one ton meat. <laughs> I got you. 
Ah, Pokey and prawn meat, aka shrimp noodles. Actually, we've had this dish in Singapore before, and it looked pretty different. Oh, that broth is nice. Yeah. I can see why Pokey and prawn meat is one of the most famous things in Penang. We cannot hit up the hawker stalls without getting this next one. Saute, man. Whoa. Yo, I almost got burned by the flame. I'm not even gonna lie. I was trying to take a selfie next to the guy <laughs> cooking the flame, and he said, oh, this little kid wanted to show out. And he just throws it up. Into the peanut sauce. Oh! Really sweet and really tender. Oh, oh Jin. Jin. Every stall that cooks the oyster pancake has a different style of cooking it. This one, they actually cook the thing separately. It almost looks like a stir fry. It's packed with flavor already right off the bat. Fried, Fried oyster, oyster pancake. pancake. Delicious. Delicious. Back at 10. Pork bone tea. First things first, you gotta get some rice and then I'll pour the soup over that. All right, first I'm just gonna sip the soup because I just wanna see what the soup is like by itself. Ooh. It actually has a very good porky, beefy flavor. You can only get this flavor in Asia. Chinese people, they like themselves a good clay pot soup. <laughs> Dad has this exact same clay pot at home. But it I reminds me of Sunday mornings at the Fung's house. Papa Fung would be cooking up some medicinal soup, and that nostalgia is dope. Roti Chanai! Right now we're at Sri Ananda Bahwan. That is the most popular and most famous spot in Penang to get roti chennai. You can tell though, I can tell by it, it ripped apart very easily. The layers are well done here. It kind of reminds me of steamed vegetable soup, but then the Indian spices start to kick in and you're like, hold up. It's such a different flavor profile than what we've been eating all day long. I've got a triple layer tea. I've got roti chennai by my side. What more do you need? Cheers, brothers. Life is good. I can tell why they call P. Dang Malaysia's food paradise city now. Yo, I had a lot of dishes that I've had before, and I had a lot of dishes I've never even seen before. But regardless, they all had their own special twist to them. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that video on the best foods to eat in P. Dang Malaysia. And shout out to our Airbnb host, Eric, for giving us a lot of those recommendations on where to eat, because as it turned out, he was a huge foodie. Let us know in the comments below which food was your favorite, and if you haven't tried any, which one you would like to try. Guys, I'm out, man. I I'm with you, I gotta... A cool naktido. That's Malay for <laughs> I need to sleep. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching that crazy, crazy, crazy top foods to eat in Penang. Woo! We went everywhere. We ate a bunch of food. We filmed it all in one day. We so went cool. from this part of the city to that part of the city, back to this part to this part. We have to say none of it would have been possible without our amazing local crew. Shout out to Vicky. We got Rebecca. We got Ling. Thank you so much. Hi. Yo. This <laughs> you guys, stay tuned for the next videos coming out of Kuala Lumpur. That's the last video from Penang. This is another one. Subscribe button below. Shout out to Airbnb. And you know what? We're out. Peace. Peace.